Burning Bush Story Moses was on top of Mount Sinai, the mountain of God, when an angel appeared to him in a flame on a bush. Moses turned aside to look at the bush, and God called to him. God said, Come no closer, move the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then God said, I have observed the, I have observed the mystery of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cry on account of their taskmakers. Indeed, I know they, their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them from the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good brood land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the country of the Canaanites, the Hittites. Tites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The cry of the Israelites has now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppress them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the, Re- the Israelites, out of Egypt. God told Moses to tell the Israelites that he was with them and that he would bring them out of Egypt. Moses asked the Lord, Well, what if they do not believe me? God said, Well, what if that? what is that in your hand? Moses said, A staff. God said, Throw it on the ground. The staff became a snake, and Moses backed away. Then the Lord said, Reach out your hand and grab it by the tail. So Moses did this. The Lord told, Mo- told Moses that if the people did not believe the signs, take water from the Nile and pour it on the ground and make, and it shall become blood. Moses asked the Lord, if it could be someone else. And the Lord said, Take your brother. Moses then took his wife and sons and took them to Egypt because God said, The people who are seeking to kill you have left. Moses and Aaron met, and they assembled the elders of the Israelites. Moses and Aaron talked to the Pharaoh, pleading with him to let them go on on a three-day journey into the wilderness, but he would not let them. Pharaoh made the people will work harder in return for this demand. Moses told the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will free you from the burdens of the Egyptians and deliver you from the slavery to them. I will bring you into the land that I swore to give Abraham and Isaac and Jacob.